Hi everyone, and welcome back to Civilization 6 as Shaka on the Matterhorn Fountain of Youth map. I actually have a lot going on right now, but first of all, I literally just unlocked scripture, which means we definitely want to pick up scripture right away, and I do want land surveyors temporarily, because there are a few tiles I want to buy. First of all, I want to buy the stone and then harvest it. I'm actually going to move Magnus here. Then we can buy both the stone and the horses. But definitely the stone. The horses can probably wait because I also have horses down here. It's not as important. It's still decent for yields, but I don't want to spend too much gold right away. Let's actually buy this forest and then the stone. Then we'll send the builder to harvest the stone. And I will likely also buy the horses here. We got three turns until border growth. I will buy the marsh. That leaves me with 142 gold. Alright, we don't want to finish construction, or rather games and recreation ASAP, because I want to get mercenaries as soon as possible, because mercenaries for Shaka will unlock the ability to create cores. And I obviously want that as soon as possible. And I'm not that close to construction. It will take a little bit too long to get construction. We'll just finish games and recreation the regular way. So other than that, I want to try capturing whatever city this is. But even if I can't capture it, I can probably pillage the districts around it. Because he has a campus, a holy site and a theater square. That's why I want to capture that city, but if I can't capture it very quickly, I can at least pillage the districts. So we'll give it a shot. I have no idea what city this is, whether it has walls, how much garrison strength it has. Uh, okay, I can capture the builder here. Okay, yeah, there's the city. Uh, he has a crouching tiger over here. 30 base strength. Okay, I can probably kill that. Let's get the volley first. Maybe heal up for one turn at least. Does this guy have Fountain of Youth? No, he does not. I don't want to be too close to Hatosa, but I need to go through here as soon as possible. So let's see if we can go through here without taking damage from Hatosa. Or without taking too much damage at least. Also, I do have a, a temple coming in four turns. Once I finish the temple, I can fade by the Gurdwara and also fade by the Apostle. The Apostle should be, I think, 400 fade. So I should have around enough fade to get a Gurdwara and Apostle. That's the plan, and then we can enhance our religion right away. Okay, we got some barbarians down here. I'm going to need some help from my spearmen, I think. Yep, seems like it. Alright, that's fine. No problem. Now, let's see if we can find uh, some city location in this area. With our captured settler. That would be nice. Oh no. Okay, I think the game is crashing. So, my game just crashed to desktop, which is definitely not good. I had to reload the autosave. Hopefully that's not going to happen again, because, yeah, that would be really bad. Either way, the plan is still to try pressuring this city as much as possible. If I can't capture it, I will pillage everything they have. So, that's the plan. Alright, let's kill the barbarians. Now, if he actually builds walls in there, that means I'll probably need a bigger army or stronger units. But we'll see. Maybe he won't. Alright, we got the Ikanda. Yeah, I'm taking some damage from Hatosa, which is really, really irritating. But I can't really prevent that from happening, other than bottlenecking myself even harder. Which I would prefer not to do. Alright, let's actually use the Vampire here to pillage the districts. I want to get the yields from that. Alright, I guess... Yeah, I just have to move through here. I don't have much of a choice. He has a catapult inside. 
I can use Himiko to get Hatosa on my side. That's actually my plan right now. The plan is to harvest the stone and uh, rush Himiko in my city up here with the unpronounceable name. All right, there's the Ikanda. I could get started on a catapult, but that will take a while. Maybe a little bit too long. Yeah, let's get something cheaper. Honestly, more spearmen definitely won't hurt. Okay, more spearmen, because again, that will upgrade to my unique unit later on. Uh, you guys are going in this direction. We got a horseman to deal with. And let's try to find a city location in this general area. Uh, nope, I'm not interested, sorry. If it wasn't for these mountains and for Hatosa, I would have captured that city already. Almost certainly. Okay, I can probably get rid of land surveyors now. I still want to get the horses here real quick. Okay, so let's just buy the horses and I can improve them with my captured builder. 65 culture, that's nice. And now I can switch to Diplomatic League, actually. And then we can get two envoys each in Hatosa and Nazca, in preparation for Himiko. Oh, Arthur! Okay, now I definitely want him, too. But getting a third hero will take a little bit too long. Still, I want to get Arthur as soon as possible, because that's going to be an amazing hero for war. Actually an amazing hero for war. He's not claimed, is he? No, he's not. Okay, yeah, we definitely want to get him. It's still early, so he's going to be really, really nice. So now we can get started. Well, I could get Arthur first and Himiko later. What the heck, let's get Arthur first. I think that's going to be more useful right now, in the nearest future. He should help me take this city. Okay, uh, this looks like there should be some space for a city down here. I guess we'll find out. Alright, alright. Now, I don't want to lose Yonis unnecessarily if I don't have to. Obviously. I think I need to back up with the archer. Okay, let's back up a little. Military training is about to finish. <laughs> oh no, Pachakuti denounced me. If it's natural to kill. Okay, we got the military training. Uh, I can't quite kill this warrior. But I don't want to pillage again as much as possible. So let's do that. Here's a catapult. I will move in because he doesn't have walls yet. I fully expect him to get walls sometime soon. But maybe I can do some damage before that happens. Uh, all right, so where are we going? Surely there's going to be some kind of spot for a city in this general area. Hopefully, yeah. One turn to finish the temple. Right. So once it's done, I will buy the Gordwara right away. And an apostle, if I have enough faith to do that. Okay. I'm not switching any policies just yet. Actually, yes, we should switch to Charismatic Leader now. Or to something else entirely. I don't think I need anything else right now, though. I could get a veterancy. That's a possibility. I did just get that Ikanda, so this would speed up barracks. I could actually get a raid. Okay, what the heck, let's get a raid. I should get some yields out of it. I won't say no to more yields. Hopefully he won't kill my vampire just yet. No, not yet. Wealth we can definitely pillage the holy site. So that's 100 faith, that is really nice. Now I can buy the Gurdwara. And I can buy the Apostle right away, so we'll do that. That leaves me with 91 faith. Uh, we can harvest the stone. That's 81 production towards Arthur. There we go, we'll get Arthur on the next turn. This is actually going to be amazing. Okay, even if he builds a wall here, with Arthur, I should be able to take that city. All right, there's pasture and horseback riding boast. Very nice. We can attack the warrior here. Okay, let's do some damage to these units. Heal up the warrior a little bit. 
Yeah, these guys will be used uh, with Arthur. Any chip unit will do. I could actually spam some scouts for that purpose if I really want to. Horseback riding next because that's busted and uh, I got quite a few horses in the area. There's the temple. Now we do have monumentality coming up, which means I will be able to fade by builders and settlers. And that means I have no need to actually get the builders and settlers myself right now. I can also fade by a trader once we get monumentality. I could get a quick water mill in my capital, but I think I just want to recruit units. Let's get a few catapults because I'll probably need them. Let's actually get a quick battering ram because I might get a good use out of it. Okay, here's a city location. That will also give me iron, which I don't need because I literally do not have any. And the closest other source is right here. So this is actually quite convenient. We'll get a city here and then next to the iron to the west. Okay, give me Arthur, thanks. There he is. Okay, let's do this. So now I should probably back up. I can just sacrifice this archer, get 200 gold. Honestly, I think I'll do that. Okay, one more pillage with the vampire. Yeah, what the heck, let's just pillage the style, get 202 gold. It's just an archer, it's not a big deal. He's only level two. I'd rather get the 202 gold right now. I don't care if he gets killed, it literally doesn't matter. We can attack the catapult, however, like so. All right, let's move Arthur over here. And we'll get questing knights right away. I still want Himiko, but she will have to wait a little bit longer. So now I don't want to get the campus, but I need four population first. Let's get the temple then, but I'll focus on food a little bit more. We'll get the temple and then we'll build the campus. Because I need more than a single campus, obviously. There's the apostle. We'll evangelize belief right away. Now I have two options. I can get crusade, but I could also get something like cross-cultural dialogue or tithe. Crusade is pretty tempting. I will need some apostles to take advantage of it, but I should be able to take advantage of it pretty easily. I think we should grab it. It will be very helpful for future wars, not even necessarily this one, but it should be very helpful for future wars. And I want to convert enemy cities anyway, because that will give me some easy era score. Okay, crusade. Definitely crusade. So, all right, we got the spearman. I want to keep spamming units. Definitely. I'll need a bunch of units for questing knights. So let's just get a warrior that's only three turns. All right. Let's see then. We got two more builds on the builder, so we can get the bananas. Okay, we can get the luxuries. We can also harvest the marsh, or remove the marsh rather. Get more population quicker. Alright, well, I still want to stay away from Hatosa if possible. To not take unnecessary damage. Uh, okay, skirmisher, that's fine. Where exactly is this city going to be? So either here or maybe here. This is not a bad spot, but it's a little bit close to my other planned city spot. Yeah, it might actually be a little bit better to settle maybe even like here. I would get some coastal resources. This is not a bad spot. Uh, the only problem is that I'll be missing out on Jade. It will be four tiles away from both of my cities. So I could also settle right here instead. But that will be a bit of a waste. I think I'd rather settle right here on this hill even if I miss out on the Jade. I obviously want to have Aaron in range. As an alternative, I could just move a little bit in this direction. I could even settle here. I will still be in range of the Aaron, but I should get a few more useful tiles to the west instead. Okay, he killed my archer. Again, that's fine. 
I thought that might happen. We basically traded an archer for 200 gold. Uh, okay, let's switch these units around here. And get the spearmen closer. This is the spot I want, not this one, this one. Yeah, I think this city spot might actually be a little bit better. Okay, this looks way better, actually. Yeah, this is way, way better. This is where we'll be settling. Okay, so Arthur. Let's see then. Who do we convert first? Let me think about this. It doesn't really matter too much, but it does kind of matter a little bit. How much can I move him and still use his ability? Uh, he has five movement. Okay, we can move here. And then use it on the archer, perhaps. This guy is level one, and the spearman is also level one. So let's use it on the archer here. Like so. There. And then I can still move the questing knight. He still didn't build walls, that's good. We can kill the catapult here with the vampire, actually. I can plunder the trader out. Okay, let's go with that. And then we'll kill the catapult with the archer. And then move towards the city with the warrior. Okay, let's go. This should go much faster now with the questing knights. I don't have to hurry up because they only have 12 turns lifespan, but that should be more than enough to be honest, especially since I'll be getting four of them. Even if he builds walls here, which he might, I should be able to take that city relatively easily. We'll find out soon enough. Uh, okay, let's pick up Volley right here. I need to get rid of that skirmisher. He's blocking the tile I was planning to settle. Which is a little bit rude. Okay, he will kill a unit or two, but that's not a big deal. Here's our golden age. So now I can pick up Monumentality. Yep, let's pick up Monumentality right away. Here you go. And I will probably buy the Settler right away. This would be a decent location over here. And I could also get that iron. It's not going to be the most amazing city ever, but it will be decent once I get Nazca. Not to mention I could maybe build Petra in there in the future. Uh, okay, I want to try pillaging this campus over here. So let's do that. And now move forward with the chariot and then transform the chariot like so. Very nice. Okay, so let's just start attacking right away. I don't care if these guys get killed. I mean, that's their job. He did build walls now, but I don't think that's going to matter. I'm pretty sure that's not going to matter at all, not even a little bit. So I got two builds on this fella. We can remove one marsh and then get the cocoa. Or just buy the other one and it will likely pay for itself. It should pay for itself easily. In fact, I'm going to buy it right away because it has nice yields. So we will just work it right away. Next up, we'll get the construction to unlock the lumber mill and then probably iron working. I want to boost iron working. So this is going to be the city right here, this exact spot. Okay, that gives us sailing boost as well. This is going to be a pretty decent city, actually. I don't need... Uh, uh, is some more amenities soon, but I'm not too worried about that. I still have a bunch of luxuries I haven't improved. So, back to our capital, there's the battering ram. That will come in handy for sure. Now, I could get some catapults. I could build Oracle. That would be a decent wonder to have, actually. It's tempting. Okay, first of all, let's fade by a builder. That's 85 fade. And then I probably want to fade by a settler up here. That's 195. And send him west. I might need some kind of escort, but I could actually escort him with a vampire if he survives. A water mill in the capital. That's only three turns. Monument down here. Okay. And now we want to get this city. 
and kill that skirmisher. Okay, I think he killed my vampire. Oh well, I didn't get a chance to pillage the campus. I might still be able to do it with my questing knights, or we can just leave it up, because I will be capturing the city pretty soon. Okay, plus 10 strength for our religion, obviously. Uh, city states. Okay, I don't think this matters too much. Uh, Nazca is religious. We can vote for that. But I don't particularly care about that. Okay, Catholicism, scientific city state will get a bonus. All right. Uh, let's kill that skirmisher real quick. Okay. Oh, there's the barbarian camp. All right, fair enough. I will actually remove it just by settling this city alone. So that works. Let's check out this general area a little bit more. And now, I probably want to chop this jungle. Yeah, let's chop the jungle, maybe get a mine on the way. Okay, let's get the mine. And now I can send a vampire to get the Fountain of Youth bonus. Because he'll have to wait to heal up anyway. So let's just send him there. And maybe he can escort my settler too. Okay, right, let's just improve both of these luxuries here. Because they will pay for themselves, I assume. Uh, that's not the best deal of all times. I might still accept this one. But let's wait one turn and see if he gets more gold. Gives us a slightly better deal. Eight turns to get the barracks. Six turns to get the granary. Okay, how many turns for a unit? Nine turns for a catapult. Uh, let's just get more spearmen. Again, I'm just going to need more units. This is supposed to be a domination game. Uh, all right, I'm going to ignore that catapult for now. I think I'll just ignore that crouching tiger too. It's not really important. Okay, now I can take a shot with the archer. Uh, okay, hold on, let's move forward here. And then use questing knight on the spearman, move forward again and attack the crouching tiger. Okay, that looks good. Maybe I can destroy that catapult as well. I got one more charge on Arthur. I could even use it on the archer, but we'll see about that. I really want to capture that city. Before he gets access to stronger units. Okay, he killed the archer, never mind then. A special session, that's religious emergency. I don't care about that at all. Yeah, yeah, failed. Uh, okay, let's back up with the Spearman. I can attack with Arthur, but I don't want him to get killed too early. We can plunder the trader out. There we go. I can pillage this to heal myself, but no need to do that yet. And because I have a raid, this will heal me for 75 instead of 50, which is pretty nice. Here. Okay, yeah, I will be able to take that city pretty easily. That shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Okay, is this a better deal now? That is a really crappy deal, to be honest. That is a really, really bad deal. I should probably still take it because it's better than nothing, but I'm hoping they will give me a slightly better deal. All right, uh, let's wait one turn here before I pillage that. This will be another city. There we go, plus one era score too. That will also remove the barbarian camp. That's very convenient. We can fight by a builder right away. And get started on the monument. So, right, this guy is going west, but he's going to need an escort from my vampire. He might not, but it's probably not safe to send him on his own. Okay, two turns to finish defensive tactics. That will give me a governor title. Okay, he killed a questing knight. And now we can pillage this to heal ourselves. Okay, move in this direction. I will attack with Arthur. Okay, pillage or attack? Uh, probably better to pillage to heal ourselves. The city is almost mine. I can actually do both, right. 
Okay, the city will be ours on the next turn, literally. Uh, now I should probably get the Government Plaza. Technically I could wait uh, to get the Warlord's Throne, but I would have to wait a little bit too long, I think. <laughs> way, way too long. I'm not willing to wait that long. Let's just get the Government Plaza right now, though. So I'm just going to buy the style. It's a bit expensive, but that's all right. Here, Government Plaza. And I can speed it up by removing the rainforest. Here you go. Uh, you guys heal up a little. No barbarian camp anymore, so they won't spawn a raid. Nah. Korea is in this game. Uh, okay, I'm not sure if I like that. I'm not too excited about that. 109 signs per turn. Yeah, okay. I'll probably have to go after them in some reasonable future. Maybe even next, but let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. I definitely want to neutralize them as soon as possible, otherwise they might become a problem later on. And I do not want them to become a problem. All right, let's go get that Fountain of Youth. This is a little bit risky, sending a settler on his own, but I like to live dangerously. Okay, let's just remove this jungle here to speed up the monument. I need to get that iron ASAP. Not interested, sorry. Invincibility lies in the defense. Okay, he killed my warrior. Well, his city is about to be mine, so it doesn't really matter. It's literally mine right now. Let's kill his unit. Okay, take the city. Done. That gives us recorded history because that's the second campus. Okay, keep the city. And now loyalty looks fine. I can pick up Victor now, and I probably should. Now, I can also get the second ability in Sanguine Pact. It will give me another vampire, but I kind of need Victor. I need Victor for loyalty purposes. I need Victor. The second vampire will have to wait. I mean, we'll get another governor title soon enough. It's not really a big deal. Okay, so let's heal up Arthur. He still has one charge and 27 turns left. So he can still do a lot of damage here. I still want to get Himiko if possible. That's 24 turns though, a bit too much perhaps. Uh, definitely a bit too much. Okay, fade by another builder here. Uh, or gold by. That's fine. How much fate for another settler? 235. Yeah, I probably want to get another settler because this location to the east still looks pretty damn good to me. Okay, this is the only valid spot for a city, right on top of that iron. Hey, works for me. It will still give me the iron. It will still be an okay city. Not super amazing, but I think it's acceptable. Could have been worse, alright? Now, I will not be able to fade by every single builder I want, so I'll probably want to actually get one the regular way. In a city or two. Now, what do we do in our new city? Yeah, we should repair the pillage districts and then repair the tiles. So I'll want to fade by a builder here. You know, to repair the tiles that I pillaged. That's exactly 100 faith. We'll do that then. Let's take a look around a little bit. Uh, go get the Fountain of Youth. Get the mine. That gives me apprenticeship. Okay, still got some barbarians, but they won't be going anywhere. I will probably sell some horses, but not yet. The four building blocks. Okay, we got construction and the divine ride boost. Can I get a better deal now? Okay, that's still kind of terrible, but I guess I should accept it. I really hate accepting deals like this. That's 70 gold and nothing else. Like surely they can pay me more than that. Or maybe not. I suppose I'll accept it, but only because I don't have much of a choice. Here. Let's maybe keep one in case we can get a better deal a little bit later. 
Because I really hate trading away my luxuries for this little gold. That's almost nothing. Uh, Alright, another builder. So now we want to remove all this marsh uh, to boost the population in here. So let's do that. That's six pop. And maybe discover other Korean cities. Uh, now, China has another city to the west over here. I definitely want that. Okay, no walls. Heck yeah! Okay, that will be easy. That will be very easy. I might not even need another questing knight. I mean, I don't have to rush my last questing knight. As long as Arthur is alive, he can always use that charge. He has a lot of time to do that. Apprenticeship next, because I can get a pretty damn good industrial zone for my capital. Okay, so that is his original capital. That is quite convenient. Now I want Warlord's Throne. I don't think I'll be waiting six turns, but we definitely want Warlord's Throne. That much is obvious. Uh, okay, I will need 380 fate to fade by Gurdwara. That will have to wait. I could get Ikanda in this city, on the desert. That's probably a good idea, and it's only five turns. I think I'll grab it. And we don't want any Kanda in the city, because this is the city with Fountain of Yod. Okay, let's just buy that and build an Ikanda over here. That's a good spot. It's an otherwise useless tile, basically. Okay, another governor title, so now I can get Rising Hunger. Sure. Here. So that's another vampire. Let's send this guy to get Fountain of Yod right away. Because they are just so much more useful with the Fountain of Youth promotion. It's just really good for vampires. Okay, this will be my city. And yeah, this is looking pretty good. I'm in a pretty damn good shape, to be honest. Uh, I might need to move my archer into the city. And that skirmisher needs to die. Okay, these guys are a bit irritating, but I'll deal with them. Uh, however... Uh, let's go back to attacking China here. This city should be mine in like two turns. Yep, easily. Go on then. Is it mine? Uh, okay, almost. It's mine. There it is. Oh wait, I wiped him out. <laughs> not like this. Yes, like this. Plus five error score. Because China did not stand the test of time. Heck yeah! Okay, Korea has knights. I think my next war will have to be with Korea. But I'll have to prepare a little bit better for that one. Okay, so we also got the campus in here and the holy site. That's amazing. Okay, that's really good. I can fade my builder here in a turn or two. Okay, let's get started on the library right away. So, how many cities is that right now? What? Six cities right now. No, seven cities. On turn 92. I would say that's a pretty damn good start. Uh, however, now that we wiped out China, uh, that's going to be a good moment to end this video. Thanks for watching all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it to denounce the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.